All right, so second video, here we go. Um, I went ahead and applied a second coat just for a little bit more coverage. Um, so I would go ahead and do that now. Once you get your second coat on, there's still a few spots that are wet up here around his uh, head and that's okay. What you can do is take a pencil or if you feel kind of like confident in just like free handing it, um, we're gonna focus on a cross right here, okay? So what I would suggest is finding a pencil and kind of just lightly sketching a cross shape. Your cross can look like this or your cross can be a little skinnier, like whatever, however you wanna make your cross look, that's a close up of this cross, okay? So we're gonna start right now and I'm gonna go ahead and sketch a cross. And it really is up to you as far as the size. Just be light when you are drawing out your cross. Okay, so, and it's okay if it's just kind of a rough sketch. It just gives your eye somewhat of a loose guide to follow and your hand a loose guide to follow, okay? So go ahead right now and pick out the color that you want your cross. I'm gonna do the same exact color that's right here. Um, I called it a sea glass. It's actually called Zen. Um, it's a bare paint color and again, the only reason I have a big sample of bare paint is because I use them all the time and that's just kind of what I do. But again, you can always find the color that you need in that deco art. And I recommend that one because like I said, it's not uh, like thin and it just has some good coverage. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use a smaller brush than what I used for the background of the bunny. I'll show you the width. It's still fairly a good size, but not as big. So it's probably about an inch. So just go ahead and dip out dip some paint and go ahead and fill in your cross. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like for me. I'm actually gonna flip, I uh, can't flip it around. So I'll see, you can kind of see what my cross looks like. And then I'm just taking paint and I am literally filling in that cross, okay? And again, like I said, try to have light marks when you use your pencil. Okay, and it should go on pretty smooth. The good thing about this, uh, door hanger is that the top surface is very smooth so it's easy for the paint to kind of be applied and I am getting the bottom part of the cross now and again it's okay if it's not perfectly in the lines because we're going to be covering it with flowers and leaves and so if there's a spot that you would call a mess up we can always cover it with like a flower or leaves or something okay so don't get zoned in and focused on where you messed up because really honestly i know it's cliche but you really cannot mess up so we will walk through what to do if you think you messed up so just right now the focus though is just getting that cross filled in and I'm almost done with mine. This is so fun. I know y'all are not like in the room with me, but I literally feel like we're painting together. So this is fun. All right, so cross is done. I've got mine filled in. So that's that while I have the same color out okay I'm gonna show you what the cross looks like um, but basically 
while I already have this color of the cross out, I'm gonna go ahead and focus in on this part right here, okay? So I've got, and again, the color choices are totally up to you. So if you don't wanna use the same color for uh, your cross and the flower, that's fine too. But you can see right here that I've got a uh, the same color as the cross and then I mixed in some coral, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to add on the flowers, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try something. Let's uh, see. I'm gonna make sure you're able to see where the bunny is. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the brush and I'm literally gonna make an irregular. You can make a circle if you want, if you want it to be just straight circle, or if you just kind of wanna. That's fine too, yeah. Just make a circle right there. That's probably gonna be the easiest thing. Um, and I'm gonna also put one right here so that it alternates color. Okay. Okay. So hopefully you're able to see that. Now, um, because those colors are done, I'm gonna focus in on the uh, coral on the cross and on the ears, okay? So let's make sure our cross is dried and our flowers are dried before we start mixing in a new color. You don't want them, well, if you want that look, that's okay, but I'm not gonna, I don't want mine to kind of blend together. So I'm gonna make sure that those are dry before I start adding in the coral color, okay? So uh, let me dry this and then we'll start this again.